Greetings people of YouTube, Ducking Creepers here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. You miss these creepy fuckers? I didn't. Anyway, I'm going on vacation next week, so I figure why not give myself a little psychological torture before I go and be all relaxed and stuff. So we're doing this. And as is per usual with this game, I've already been interrupted a few times while trying to record it, but hey, what are you gonna do? Let's dive right into it, shall we? Night 3, 12 a.m. Alright, here we go. Alright, keep an eye on the show stage to see who leaves. Seems the times I failed that Chica leaves almost immediately, but Bonnie sticks around, which is the opposite of what I've seen the past two nights. Yeah, see? What's up with that? Yeah, I don't blame them for moving on. Yeah, sure you're not implying they died, phone guy. Shit. Just. Got. Real. Doesn't sound good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get caught. Good advice. See, the fact that you're telling me not to get caught impl not to get caught, I can words, implies that you're well aware of the dangers of this phone guy, yet you still insist everything's alright with your life. You're gonna be fine, lol. I am definitely not fine. Definitely not fine. Worst job ever. This Mike Schmidt guy better get like a seven figure salary for doing this shit. That's actually a good question. Would you guys do this if you could get paid a million dollar salary? I guess if you can get really good at the game. And then like do it in real life and it followed the same rules. You'd just have to be freaking flawless, but you could make bank. Interesting dilemma. So, a thing that's happened since the last episode, Five Nights 3 teaser trailer came out. If you haven't seen it yet, I don't know what rock you've been under. But, Golden Bonnie. Can't say I was anticipating that one from the first teaser images, not gonna lie. At least, that's kind of what people are conceding to call whatever this new animatronic is. I use it for lack of a better name. Foxy, I don't need your singing right now. So anyway, yeah, really looking forward to that third game. It looks really interesting. And extremely scary. Like, I think this is bad, but I can't even imagine what's going on with that third one. God. Chica, fuck off. I don't need this from you. What is your key again? Why? God. Gotta pay attention to that bird, huh? Anyway, a thing that I think would be really cool for um, the third game is if Golden Bonnie ran around the restaurant grabbing parts of animatronics and assembling other ones because it's lonely and sad or whatever. Don't you... Okay, good. Bonnie's out, too. Yeah, I can't really go into detail about that because I'm too busy freaking out, but you get the idea. Fazbear's Fright is so full of spare animatronic parts that it would be really cool if Golden Bonnie ran around building other ones out of spare parts that it found. Cheek is in the kitchen. It's one of the audio cues I've learned. Uh. 
Is that Golden Freddy on that poster? I never noticed that before. It looks like it could be. Oh, shit. Freddy's out, okay. So now I believe I have to shut the right door whenever I open the cameras to check on Foxy. No, I can't leave you shut like that forever. Oh, man. I can't even right now, guys. I can't even. What the f... Oh, my God. No! Fuck off. I'm using way too much power doing that. Oh. Shit. Gotta be more careful. Gotta pay attention. I think that's how you do it anyway. I'm under that impression anyway. You gotta keep the right door shut whenever you check the cameras to keep Freddy out of your office. Because he doesn't appear in the door lights. Because he's just that annoying. No. Okay, Foxy, you're gonna possibly sprint at me soon, I'm not really sure. Nope. I gotta get faster at this, because it's only gonna get harder. As it is, I gotta deal with four of these fuckers. How do you d handle the second game? Actually, who am I kidding? I'm actually more familiar with the second game straps than I am with the first. It's okay. Oh! Calm your tits, Foxy. Am I gonna die? I do not like Freddy's laugh. That shit's weird. You're- you're doing that already? Goddamn. I gotta be more power efficient. <sighs> I am not gonna do well on the later nights at all. I think I'll be better with this game once I get jump scared once. Because right now it still hasn't happened, so I'm still just not prepared for the insanity that that is. I'm pretty sure Rebornica made it like four nights without getting a. S yeah, shut up. I know it's you. I don't care. Go away, whoever you are. Uh, 5 a.m., I can do it. Hopefully. As long as I don't make any royal fuck-ups, I should be golden to make it through three nights without getting scared. I'd love to tie Rebornica and get four, and only get scared on the fifth night. I believe that's what it was, correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone else watches Rebornica, but... That would be a very satisfying thing for me. To tie that record. Because that seemed pretty skilled. I've seen a lot of people get scared on night one, and I'm like, literally how? I think Bonnie came once, and I actually had the door shut out of sheer paranoia at the time, I believe. I don't know, you guys would know better than me. You can go rewatch it if you want or whatever. Alright, Foxy's doing that again. I can do it. Uncomfortably low power, which means... What I'm doing right now is not nearly efficient enough to work on the later nights, but... Yeah! Woo! Oh my god, I don't know how I'm doing this well. But... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed more paranoid ramblings for me trying to play this game. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!